Hello, this is another impromptu video. I just went to the Dollar Tree and I happened to come across these uh, peach rings that have like spice on them. It's a very unusual combination. Sweet and hot and um, I saw them and I like I have to get these and try them for a video so um, I'm gonna do that real quick yeah Tajin chili and lime flavored peach rings mild classico so they're not like overwhelmingly hot at least hopefully hopefully not but yeah they're peach rings with like chili powder or something on them so let's I'm, by the way, I'm not like a big fan of peach rings in general, and even less so a fan of like sp spicy things like 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 chili powdered flavored stuff like that. So this I just I'm doing this just for a video. And that is not an experience I care to repeat ever again as long as I live. That is not good. Like usually, I might not be a fan of certain things, but it'll be okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. Avoid this. Do not. Do not. You do not want to subject yourself to that. Ugh. That does not go together at all. I also got myself a Diet Coke because for some reason sometimes I actually want a Diet Soda for the flavor because sometimes um, a regular full sugar soda would not be available and I somehow got used to the taste of Diet Sodas in so far that I sometimes actually buy these specifically for the taste. Which is kind of weird probably, but I don't know. Maybe other people out there, all they ever have is diet sodas because of their household or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to have a diet Coke. Um, also, uh, my friend and I went over to Half Price Books while we were in the area. And I got a couple CDs. This one is St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Young Sick Camellia. I have no idea what this is, but it's featuring the hit Apollo and is a refreshing and surprising slice of sly summer funk. And that is uh, words of NPR, apparently. And this was only $3.99 and it's still brand new sealed. Half Price Books does that. They, they have like brand new stuff that's like... Then again, this is from 2018, so it's a little bit old. The other thing I found is this, um, Chris Gaines' Greatest Hits, um, also known as Garth Brooks in The Life of Chris Gaines. This is like a, like, sort of fake soundtrack to a fake movie that was supposed to star Garth Brooks as this alternate alternative rock uh, superstar Chris Gaines and the m movie never happened but the, the the music was released and this is actually an extremely rare thing um, and it's not easy to find and it's not really available digitally on streaming services but they had the CD at half price and I was like ooh if I don't get that now I probably won't get it like ever or at least for a long time, because if I find it on Amazon, it's probably going to be expensive. So I got that, and I finally have it, and that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for now. I just wanted to make this. Um, I hate to waste anything, but these are grody. I don't, I don't, I don't want these. I'm, I'm not gonna finish these. Uh, sorry if that offends anyone, but oh well. It was only a dollar, 
so it's not that much so whatever um anyway that's it for now uh talk to you later